Hi, I'm Tony Kern and I'm the manager of the Oracle Database as a Service team in Telstra. Telstra is Australia's largest telecommunications company and we operate and build our own 5G and mobile phone network, offer broadband and fixed line services, uh, pay TV, and we sell mobile phones and other services via our Telstra retail stores. My team, Oracle Database as a Service, look after um, new deployments of Oracle Databases, new features and new um, versions of Oracle Database and ensure that they integrate within our IT framework in Telstra. We also design and build uh, Oracle Databases and provide 24 hour support. We also offer our customers with a with shared Oracle database environments. One of these is based on Oracle Application Express and we call it Apex Central. So a lot of these um, ap applications and databases were built ad hoc or, or, or as per business demand and weren't really managed. And well, yeah, there were, there were just many different versions of these applications around. So we wanted to have a solution that would, would easily port these applications into another um, product that was that was managed and that our team would um, would use and would be based on, on Oracle. The reason we, we chose Apex and Oracle is we were already running uh, Oracle databases. And so to build this solution on Oracle Rack, we could use our existing Oracle licenses and deploy Apex for free on our Oracle Rack database. So this gave our users a central platform where they could develop their applications very easily and quickly. And there wasn't a lot of learning to do because Apex is fairly easy to pick up. Today, our Apex central environment hosts thousands of applications and they provide a lot of business value to Telstra. So some of these applications manage our fiber optic network our underground cable pits, Telstra exchanges, um, mentoring and training of our front of house staff, Telstra payphones, and a lot of the apps are also used in our Telstra retail stores. So today, my team is uh, deploying Oracle RESTful data services in our Apex environment, and this will give us um, the ability to offer REST APIs to our internal consumers so they can deploy uh, applications very quickly and um, future-proof our deployments uh, due to the RESTful um, functionality. We're also upgrading our uh, environment to Apex 20.2 to take advantage of even more features and functionality. Three tips I could give is one, if you're going to be deploying Oracle uh, Apex in your company, please consider doing that in a centralized manner where you could onboard uh, users and have a centralized um, uh, management system where you, where you know who's who's using what and what the applications do. You can set up a register and it potentially even a chargeback model if you needed to um, get some funding for upgrades and things like that. Second tip I would give is to consider leveraging off your com company's Active Directory if you have one. Uh, you can use Kerberos in Apex to hook up to um, Active Directory and that way you can use a centralized user access management system as well. Uh, so tying in um, Apex with um, your Active Directory. Third tip I would give is to create a user community internally uh, for, for people who are using Apex or, you, or just in general getting people to know what Apex is and what it can do for their business. Um, a lot of times people don't even realize uh, what it can do and then they, if they hear it from other users and developers who can get excited about it, then that will really increase your user base. Um, also, it helps people um, swap knowledge and um, you, can, you can create um, a community of people who will do brown bag sessions or workshops to um, transfer their skill across. And I think lastly, the thing that we found was really useful that with our Yammer group was whenever we did upgrades and we hit any bugs or we hit any issues, our internal developers were very happy to help each other out and solve these issues without us um, uh, having too much delay in getting a solution. So yeah, that's our Apex story. So thank you very much for listening and all the best.